Hi, I'm Christopher Smith, president of AGI Training. We've written dozens of computer books, and I can't tell you how much I love the Digital Classroom series, and I'm excited to be showing you one of the video tutorials that's included on the DVD that ships with the Windows 7 Digital Classroom book. Let's take a look. When you place an item in a public folder, any other person with a user account on that same computer can view the item. In addition, people on your network can view the item as well. To make items in your public folders accessible to others on your network, however, you must take a few extra steps. Click the Start button and choose Control Panel from the Start menu. Click Network and Internet. Then click the Network and Sharing Center link. In the left side of the Network and Sharing Center window, click Advanced Sharing Settings. Scroll down and, under Public Folder Sharing, click Turn on Sharing so anyone with network access can read and write files in the public folders. Click Save Changes. Then close the Network and Sharing Center window by clicking its Close button. Sharing your files and folders using Windows 7 public folders is one way to go. Another is to create a home group. This links together the computers on the network in such a way that pictures, music, videos, documents, and even printers can be shared. Note that other people can't change the files you share unless you give them permission to do so. If more than one computer on your network runs Windows 7, you can create a home group consisting of those computers. Note that you can create a home group in all versions of Windows 7 except Windows 7 Starter and Windows 7 Home Basic. PCs running those two versions can join home groups, but they cannot create them. When you create a home group, Windows 7 works behind the scenes to configure the appropriate settings. To set up a home group, click the Start button and click Control Panel. In the Control Panel window, click Network and Internet, and then click Network and Sharing Center. The Network and Sharing Center window appears. Under View Your Active Networks, click the link to your network type. The Set Network Location window appears. Click Home Network. Windows 7 launches the Create a Home Group Wizard. Click the checkbox next to each folder you want to share on your Windows 7 computer. Then click Next. The Create a Home Group Wizard generates a password. Write it down. You'll need it to add more Windows 7 computers to the home group. Then click Finish. Windows 7 creates a home group. Once you've set up your home group, other PCs on your network running Windows 7 can join it, enabling users to easily share files and access shared resources such as printers. To connect a PC to a home group, open the control panel, click Network and Internet, and click Network and Sharing Center. Under View Your Active Networks, make sure the network type is set to Home. If it's not, click the Current Network Type and click Home in the window that appears. Select the types of folders you want to share and click Next. Once the active network is listed as a home network, click Available to Join next to Home Group. Click Join Now in the screen that appears. Indicate what types of folders you want to share. Then click Next. Type the password that was generated when you created the work group on the other Windows 7 machine. Windows notifies you that you have joined the home group. Click Finish. Then click Close to close the home group window. To view files and folders that other users in your home group have shared, follow these steps. Click the Start button and click your username in the Start menu. In the navigation pane of the window that opens, click Home Group. Click the username of the person whose files you want to access. Windows 7 displays the files and folders shared by that user in the file list.